we were talking about how you've now returned to iFunny. In all your glory, you're embracing all the memes about you. Yes. Also, you had that controversy back in the day. You're, you're coming back off of this. Everybody hates you. You know what? You're fucking better than that. And you, you come yeah, back into the light of graces. Yep. It's, it's okay. an interesting storyline. So I think people are interested to see where this goes, where everybody's invested in the storyline that is Deep Web Intel. Hey, what's going on, everybody? My name is Brandon. Welcome back to another episode of Real Sensitive Guy Hours. This is episode 31. We've got a special guest this week. So before I get into my co-hosts, we have one of the I funny legends. The she stole or she took the kids. What is what even the fuck is the meme? There's just so many she memes behind me. this man. She left Moore me. Fucking she, left me. Moore. she fucking left. There's so many memes <laughs> to is. even keep there track of. He <laughs> drinks till he's drunk. He smokes till he's high. The I funny legend himself. Deep web intel, everybody. Hey, what's good? So fucking excited again. Yeah, so wrong. we 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 this is a little day, bit of deja vu, you reckon? <laughs> yes. Yeah, the first uh, recording that uh, we did, it got screwed up. So here we do are. You wanna go oh, into that, Brandon? Lost episode. Brandon, do you want to tell the the uh, the audience about what happened with that file? No, because that puts me at fault. Anyway, so I have the rest of my co-hosts <laughs> to introduce. To my right, Oliver Wickheiser. He's eating his lunch right now. No, I'm not. But what's good, everybody? <laughs> Welcome back to a brand new edition. Uh, below me, Travis fucking Stocksdale. Still just as fanboying as the first time. <laughs> Maybe even more. <laughs> to the bottom right, we have William Le Congro. What's good, everybody? And then myself, real sensitive guy. It's been shooting press and or branded. You already know what the fuck is good. So, uh, Deep Web Intel, my mans, how the hey. fuck are you, brother? Uh, pretty good. Uh, pretty good. Um, I'm excited because uh, last weekend, uh, my friend, he came up here from out of state. Oh. Uh, to look at some of uh, the houses that uh, we're looking at as potential places to uh, move into. Oh, that's um, right. You're trying to uh, forge your own way. Yep. I think you were talking so, about this a couple of weeks ago. It was much more in its infantile stages at that point. Yep. But uh, we went to uh, see some of the houses, and we have one uh, that is um, it's listed as four hundred nineteen thousand dollars. Wow. And it's uh, uh, for sales and mortgage. Um, but since some of the appliances are pretty old, uh, the realtor said that she could probably get it down to about like 380, probably. That's Damn, a you're looking to like discount. straight up buy yeah, a house. Seriously. Yeah. 47 all. Well, I don't know how fair, smart of a move that I'm is. Really like, it, why, I'm why only, get a mortgage right now? You got to really want, like, I know you want to live where you're at. Yeah. I'm only giving him. 500 to 550 per month to live there with him that's the catch so are you are you sub like is he leasing it out to you technically like what is the arrangement you guys have because if your name's on this it's gonna be weird my name is not going to be on it because i'm not paying for the mortgage up front i'm just paying you're just giving it to to him Okay. Right. Yeah, I feel, yeah, I feel, this sounds yeah. like a pretty good deal, actually. Yeah. He's the one right. buying the house. Okay, I see where yeah. you're coming from. <laughs> um, uh, which of course, you know, he. I can't say how much money he has, but he does have uh, a large amount. But he's. Uh, we went to. Uh, Fast uh, he's got a weekend. A hundred thousand. Uh, much more than that. Um, it's uh, complicated. Five, um, yeah. five, five hundred yeah. k. We, we look, uh no more than that it's oh buddy buddy <laughs> it's complicated where um, you meet these rich ass people i want some of them as my friend uh, <laughs> it's funny <complicated>. con. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, um through, the, through the business side of iphone online but um he's actually a uh, pretty chill i've known him for uh quite a while um but um we went to uh best buy over the weekend and we go into the uh fridge the section to keep in mind i come from a family that is i would honestly say lower middle class okay we're not mm-hmm. like super rich but yeah. we do pretty good i would have so, called myself like middle middle right so up. anytime i go shopping it's always 
cheapest from the most expensive. With him, it's the opposite. And I understand that you have a lot of money to work with. However, do you need a $30,000 vehicle? Yeah, you can still or like buy something a pretty $60, good. a $60,000 vehicle. You're going to get a pretty good value from a $30,000 uh, vehicle. Depending on miles and stuff. Yeah, you can yeah. still get a good car for that. Yeah, for yeah, sure. So, I do get know. his side too, though. Like Ever since I've started making more money, I find myself kind of like throwing it around sometimes. I still hate spending a lot of money, but like where it's worth it, I will throw a lot of money at something these days. Oliver and I just yeah, recently. Uh, you don't want to. You moves. don't want to know how much Brandon. Uh, Brandon and I just spent way too much money. We went to Target yesterday. yesterday. We we went we went and we just sp- like bought the essentials for our bathroom. We spent almost half a grand. Almost half a grand, dude. It was yeah, fun. the essentials is a brand that uh, Target. Uh, they own same as uh market pantry and good and uh gather i used to work for target so are you so gonna I have to really like go. pitch in on all that stuff like stuff for the house does he um, have to like stock the house well, or does he have all this we, like is he buying this fridge all by himself yes. yeah yeah okay yeah i mean i so like you're gonna pretty sweet deal out of it yeah yeah um, man. but uh the only thing which is which I don't know how much I'm going to be able to change, but his habits as far as like cleaning up your shit. He's been over here for like a week. He was over here for like four days over the weekend this last week. And he, he's got to work on stuff. He's like like a messy roommate. If you make mac and cheese, after you make mac and cheese, or it's the first thing that you do. You soak it. You soak it. You soak that shit. Yeah. Because if you don't, yeah. it's it going to be fucking never yeah. come on. Yeah. Like, I, I definitely know what that was like. Fuck. I had a roommate back in freshman year of college who was just so fucking messy. It was unreal, dude. Terrible. Like, I would have shit my own to clutter <laughs> myself. But, you know. I don't know whose side you're telling that story from. <laughs> Sounds like it's from my, my point of view. <laughs> So as yeah, much but, uh, as much yeah, as uh, like, everybody's excited about house talk, uh, let's let's get this into some degenerate shit. True, true, true. We gotta talk oh, about iFunny lore real quick. Let's get it out of the way. You know, there's gonna be some iFunnyers coming to this podcast for iFunny, so let's get that shit out of the way that we can go back into our personal lives. Yeah. Uh, so let's just let's knock out the big thing, that being the time you left iFunny, uh, which where time? there was law involved <laughs> and all that. Oh Good shit! Stuff. We're, get, we're getting into this. Like already? There is no what. Travis asked, bro. We're, we're we're talking about the the biggest controversy of them all. We're not talking about the stripper. Oh, that one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, we're talking about why you had to leave for a little bit. Okay, so um, so I gotta think of a way to summarize this quicker than the last time I explained it. So pretty much, there's a there was a portion of the community that already had an issue with me whether it was because of how yeah. uh, cringy i was um so some of the uh content that i would post because i used to uh talk a lot about the uh deep web and uh tour and everything like that and i have no. <laughs> i have posted a few things that were sort of like controversial like how to theoretically make a flamethrower or uh, manipulation or how to pick a lock or something like that and um people started sending in false uh reports to uh the uh police that i was Do you know how they got committing. that information on where you lived at um like so how did they dox there you was, there was one person one individual who i traded or i exchanged uh crypto with and i made i think about Made about uh, fifty dollars, like a hundred dollars or something like that. Damn, it's not big terrible. Moves. Big moves. And um, cryptocurrency, it's not bad. And um, for me to prove that uh, that he was uh, legit, he sent me a copy of his, which I later found out was just like a fake ID altogether. Um, and then oh, shit. T- t- to prove my authenticity. That I will actually trade with you. You give me the money, I give you the Bitcoin. You know, I send a picture of mine, 
my stupid idiot. But um, oh, and no, I guess dude. he found out about like uh the rumors on the app. So then uh, that got leaked. Um, but um, cops showed up at my house. They asked me questions, and they wanted so why to why leave. why. You're kind of leaving uh, stuff out of the story. Why did they? Why did the cops show up to your house? What were the accusations? So, um, they were people saying that I had uploaded certain uh, material that is illegal uh, to upload. Um, and obviously, with the job of the cops and the FBI, that's their job to investigate. I get it, you know. So they came asking here uh, questions. And they wanted to take a look at my computer and my phone. So Mm -hmm. um, I answered honestly, and I was like, yes, I have uploaded uh, uh, tutorials on this or this or how to. Was it like fucking scary? Like, were you in like this one room with one light dangling over? No, 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 no. Where Where were the other shows going? (laughs) She got the she double dick in it. She got the rose gold. You see, my father was a drinker of him. And one night he was a little crazier than usual. Mommy took Yeah, no, sport. but <laughs> he didn't like that. Um But uh yeah, but uh they showed up and they were asking questions. Um and I had to sign off to give them uh, uh permission. To look through my computer and my uh, property. Uh, please please they tell me not. they didn't get to see your eye funny. Please tell me they didn't get to see your eye funny. Dude, well, that was what they, they were there about, for. That was what profile. they were there for, basically. Yeah, that's what they're there for. Yeah, yeah no. seriously. Once they yeah. go through everything, they know everything. Dude, well, once- they had, dude, they had a picture of my Facebook profile, my Twitter. They had they have. Everything. Everything. Yeah, yeah, they they have everyone, you, everything. Once you sign off on that, the FBI can pretty much say we we have your life. Like, I mean, but I mean, they have it the whole time. They just like it's probably just arbitrary that you're signing it, and then they pull up like everything about you, like they didn't already have that just sitting really there true. without yeah. your permission. And at the time, the only thing that I, that I was concerned about was back in college. Uh, like a year and a half prior to this happening, there was a friend of mine who we ended up, or I ended up giving him, I think it was, I ended up giving him like $32 for an eighth of a uh, weed. And that, that was the you only thing that I was concerned about, but <laughs> that was like a year and a half prior. Um, so Technically, I never that's, said anything about that. That's a deep way. Yeah. I don't think you like have to disclose about that unless they ask. Yeah. So, but then, okay. So basically, after this, you had to like ghost from iFunny for a little bit, right? Or didn't have right. to, but felt it was um, best to. Right. So I um I actually contacted one of my close friends on iFunny because I had his actual phone number uh, written somewhere, and I told him to contact uh to Zandra, who was the admin or uh, one of the admins of the app to sort of explain the situation since I was close mm. to the moderators and I kind of wanted to let them be aware of uh, the situation because it was a serious uh, situation. You know, I people are posting on my address I don't have a uh, device which I can go on the app and uh, report report this happening, you know. So I'm kind of Does I gotta that have even help here. So. Do anything like the reporting on iFunny. I I honestly, there's so much it just hatred does. and bigotry and <laughs> toxicity. The reports, the report system does work, but you have to understand how it works. Simply. Simply just reporting something once as like hate speech isn't gonna get the job done very uh quickly. You gotta report raid somebody <laughs> that does work, that does actually work at that. Or just swat them if you're in a group with a lot of large uh the iFunny users or the old moderators, you tell them they'll pass it on to someone higher up and they'll have it uh removed like that. 
So you know, Crazy. you know a, a lot about like the higher ups and iFunny. Yes, like, you, you know, you know the original iFunny chef, right? Uh, yes. Uh, how big is his cock? Um, I have never seen that. <laughs> Dude, but you know from the grapevine, right? Like he's he's got to be packing. Um. Well, he is chef of the app. He's either packing or he's got a micro. <laughs> or, or he's <laughs> not in between. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's super. So you, recently, um, people were fussing at you. Uh, I don't even remember why. Travis, do you do you know what what was going on? Was what? it the stripper thing, or about? I think it was the thing after the right. stripper thing. I don't know what came after the stripper thing, thing but Hold everybody. On. Um, Everybody was like clowning you for taking a picture with that what they called like that ugly stripper. Oh yeah, yeah. in the bathroom. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, she she looked really skanky. Like I'm talking about, like <laughs> she looked. She was a stripper. I mean, she looked like the stripper looked skanky. Like on a rough night, she would probably look like she would be like in her l- late forties. But so because how of long ago hair was and all it? the makeup and the smell of sex and everything, she easily looked like she was probably like in her the early thirties. Yeah. So you went to Canada to go to the strip club, right? Yep. That's the story. And how long yep. ago was this? Um, this was actually three weeks just before they closed uh, transportation between the uh, U.S. and uh, Canada. Okay, so like. Probably like March before the pandemic. Yeah, just before like right all the before. Happened. Yeah, right before. Okay. Um, so and people what was just this, decided uh, to bring it back up. What was this well-established yeah. lady like? What is this, this gorgeous um, her, woman? Her name was Cece. Ooh, hot name. Um, Ooh. And she was that her um, real name or her stripper name? Well, the fact that she has a tattoo on her arm that says Cece, that's probably her stripper name. Or she's really yeah. committed. <laughs> Yeah, she's yeah. all in. She's like, I might yeah. as well just own it. Well, I already figured that seeing a bunch of like cringy ass twenty year olds, uh, twenty one year olds. Uh, one guy was nineteen. Um, walk into a strip club, drew the fuck out of him. I blew eighty dollars, which she claims was well uh, was uh, four yeah. songs. I call horseshit. Think about it this way. If the average song you would say is what? Three minutes? Three and a half minutes? Yeah, average. average song. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so three times four is 12. I know time flies when you're having fun, but that felt like more like about like six minutes. <laughs> So was her like was it one of those clubs too. where like the, the full pussy was out? Like you got to see the whole double... With a side of curly fries pretty, or like uh pretty close. Uh she had a little bit of a uh, lingerie on. Uh, oh, um, where we live, the strip clubs are like full nudity allowed. Damn. See, yeah, like I, they're shaking their pussies like right in your face. I it's really sketchy. I wouldn't mind going back to a strip club, but it's gotta be like an actual club. This one, this was at like five thirty in the evening. There were only <laughs> two <laughs> There were only two other <laughs> guys there having uh, drinks. It was pretty empty, not a whole lot. So, well, like no not titties or anything. You just 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 longer. It it wasn't what I expected. Honestly, <laughs> I think no it titties. was the uh, wrong. New York titty, the best titty. It was the wrong time of night. Like. They do have like special like events there and everything. I think those are the times that you need to go to the strip club when they you have. Gotta, you just got to yeah, go to a state a where full nudity there. is allowed. Yeah, yeah. That's all all you have to do. Dude, dude, Detroit. I live pretty much well, on the outside of Detroit. There yeah, you go. Little, I mean, Detroit's a scary place sometimes, man. It, depending what I'm section of Detroit. Detroit, like there's a red zone. Like there's. It's not Motor um, City anymore. It's it's it goes from like super nice to absolute war zone within two seconds. It looks like fucking when, that one right before you get to the strip and fall out New Vegas. That's what it looks like. And the kings just rule. When you see a green flashing light at gas stations at uh, nighttime, that's when you know. Because what that 
it means is is that particular uh, gas station is one that is uh, watched a lot by uh, police because it's an issue quite frequently with certain things, oh. certain sections or whatever, certain uh, uh, crossroads. So that's why they have those uh, green flashing lights. So anytime you see one of those over here, that's what it means is you're heading into uh, – Get like out of a, that area. Like a, the eight mile side of town, the MM side, you know, that <laughs> that stuff. Um, Nick, All right, yeah, a little I more, a little more iFunny lore. Uh, I want to hear about iFunny Con. So, the first one that took place, which unfortunately, the I OG, didn't, I did not. There's been more to. than one. Oh, okay. I want to hear about the there, one you went to, the actual the, one you experienced where all those iconic pictures and videos yes. were taken. That uh, uh, so the first one was in San Francisco. Second one that I went, or the second one, which was the first one that I went to, was in uh, Houston, and that was the one where all the memes and the uh, the image of Zaoist, uh like uh, lifting me up, hoisting me and uh, walking me out. That's how that happened. And the picture and of you at the table, like looking down at your food. Yes, like this. <laughs> you know, just like. Oh my god, you know, um, but again, that was just because, like, as soon as I got there, I go for the food. I love food, you know. How I could you say something so free, man. If it's free, you got to go for it. Exactly. True. I explain. Um, I exp- oh, go ahead. Sorry. Because uh, it was actually some pretty good pulled pork with barbecue sauce and baked beans mm. with i think it was a uh, sweet potato fries oh it was so fucking good See, this shit is um, making me wish i went kind of <laughs> oh yeah even How many people were there? Open, you have to be? it's free was it open to the public or was it, you had to be an eye funnier uh you, you pretty account? much had to be an eye funnier i'll be honest uh, if anyone who is not a uh, parent of the child which there was one kid whose parents actually did show up. Oh my god! It was. And wait, how many people were there total? I'd say total there was about forty-five to fifty-five. Can you describe the smell of the parents. Uh, a middle school classroom. Can you describe the smell of Zaoist? <laughs> Fat and greasy. Mm. <laughs> on a scale from like flowers to hot dog water, <laughs> where does he lie on that scale? Uh, he probably water. lies on the scale of if you put hot dog water in a vase of flowers. Probably that. Oh, so it's probably like when right somebody like takes a shit in a bathroom. And tries to cover it up with Hawaiian flower scent. So it just smells like shit and flowers. When you're yeah, in the peak of yeah, sweaty puberty and you just spray axe all over yourself. Yeah, just... Mm. Uh, what, is, what, is, what is the movement? What is it? Sweaty ball September or something like that? Or stink ball September? What? Have you guys seen this yet? I have not no, seen I... this. Wait. Uh, is it's... this the skit from Saturday Night Live? Uh called uh sweaty sweaty balls uh, yeah sweaty balls yes yeah i think it was from saturday night live i think i remember that i remember that this is probably something different though right this is like a new meme that's cropped no, up sorry sorry men of every nationality ethnicity social standing or background celebrating stink balls september and harmony it's a gif Your of <laughs> it's ratatouille just whiffing so, yeah, cool. shit. <laughs> so i uh have you washed your balls this month guys because i haven't Always. every time i shower you, yeah yeah bro what do you mean Literally, i'm having yeah, a girl come over this weekend and she's gonna get one two whiff minutes. two minutes you gotta like some we'll baby take powder under your, it was just 20 hands. seconds here 20 seconds there 20 seconds there 20 seconds over there I've been told, what is your what is so you're having a girl over okay and you know oh my god you're you're gonna fuck what is what is your preparation for this moment um first of all if i have a new set of sheets put them on anyway because big one you're true. You are gonna get them all messed up, but you don't want to. 
I don't want to start it off on some old bench sheets. It's going to get yeah. really messy. You got to put if a towel down. If it's the first time, yeah, if it's, especially if it's the first time she's coming over, you yeah. got to have the new sheets. You got to smell good. Like, of course. Try to like put away the clutter. Even if you have to shove everything in like one thing, because it's not like she's going to be opening all your shit, right? True. Yeah. So, yeah. um, because you can sort through it uh, later. You can sort through Even it later. Even if you're a slob, look like you're not one. Yep. Have a fucking plan. Have a plan. Have a plan. Always have a plan. Um, shower. Shower. Big and time. That's the other thing. I, I could be wrong because I always used to put uh, cologne on the, uh, the uh, wrong way, but I, it's 9.24. Who is calling my house? I don't know. I used um, to put fucking deodorant under my balls. Before a girl would come over, that's, that's a life weird. hack. That's you, a life hack. You, you, no, you don't do that. You put it under. You, <laughs> you put it wipe under it your with balls. the on your balls. Under and you put balls. it under. sit there. I feel oh, weird about putting it on my armpit listen. after that, though. Have yeah. you ever like accidentally gotten some sort of um nair on your balls, a deodorant in your uh, mouth, or anything like that? No, oh, it's the oh, fucking I worst. I don't I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this, but if you get like a little bit on your mouth, it just makes it so fucking dry. Like, and there's no way you can get it out. There's, it's impossible. You can drink Ooh. water for days and it's still in there for like two days later. I swear to God. Now, I've never had that happen. What's in I, there? I don't know, exactly. You need a like, cheek for water or something. No, but like, um, um, if you know that you're going to be Doing shit. Why would you put deodorant? I mean, balls. John, you, you're nuts. Do you think she's gonna like that? Do you really think <laughs> she, she's gonna? She's, try, <laughs> she's gonna go. She, she's gonna lick the hair that's down there because that's all that deodorant's gonna do. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah. Is that dark? She's, 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 gonna, she's gonna go like this. She's gonna go on the hair. Yeah. <laughs> I think <laughs> get like, that deodorant in her mouth. If you didn't overdo it, I think it could be a good idea. All right. I'm not. Like even even out here, I'm not saying you use stink. your main stick. stick. Like you would have to have your what own again? under the ball again? stick. What's the purpose of putting deodorant on your balls though? Under your balls, so I that way you, know, do you do you fucking sweat under your nut sack? I fucking do. Yeah. In case there's the any whole stink. thought of it is entirely gay. <laughs> 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 I mean, <laughs> you I mean, blew our minds. How could you say something Just so controversial? Picture so yourself brave. having to bend over. Okay. That's why I don't like that. Yeah, and then and then what? You're gonna buy a specific theater stick just for your balls, yeah. and then you forget which one it is if you don't label it. Then you put it on your <laughs> armpit hair. Like, come Mom on! Found the deodorant <laughs> ball. Yeah, the balls just, deodorant. Ball <laughs> deodorant. The ball <laughs> stick. You start using your. You start using you your, your butt crack too. You start putting you it down by your butt it. crack. Yeah, that's why I don't wipe. Oh, that's gosh. gay too. Okay. Yeah, right. Nothing new. That's, 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 that's just ball deodorant. Gross. <laughs> Just because we can doesn't mean that we should. <laughs> should. I agree with that. I agree. It's like returning the shopping carts. Like, what retard returns a shopping cart? Like, you guys okay, are fucking that's stupid. If different. You're actually, that's, that's completely different. different. So, <laughs> working. Uh, oh, real shit. Quick, working at a uh, grocery store uh, a couple years ago, um, I'll never understand how some of the grocery carts, they get like half a mile out. How the fuck? How does that happen? People are trying to steal them, bro. There are people like, who like to park far away, and I'm one of them. I just why, why do I you park so far? If you park closer, I you not to have a car on either side sooner of me. and put it away sooner. I prefer not to have a car on either side of me. Either I space. mean, that's fair. You don't, want car, you don't, you don't want car, somebody to get as far out that I can make that happen. I have a piece of shit car. I just don't know. I that's just, fair. You don't want someone to Travis ding it. Has I mean, that's PTSD. Part of it. Tell that it's story about the car. Already a piece of shit car. Yeah, as, my my car Brandon, runs. Like, as Brandon, have you gotten dinged before? Super dinged. Yeah, you fucking dickhead. But dude, one time we were in Travis's I didn't car. Fucking, it checked no shut, mark. Shut, it shut, did shut nothing. Up, shut up. <laughs> so he, he, we were in his car, and so we're backing up out of his house, and all you hear is a boom, and you're like, "What the fuck?" And I look back, and Buddy just hits my car. Doesn't even <laughs> look. <laughs> uh, bro, you parked behind me. What could I do? I just there's never a car behind me. 
Yeah. Yeah, dude. Scraping the cars is fucked. But anyway, he doesn't he doesn't put deodorant on his balls. Okay. But he does make the bed. He does clean the room. Um shower. And shower. Shower. Yeah, but not you can't and shower too late that you'll have wet hair when she what gets is your, there. You what is your strategy hard. to last longer? Like what do you what do you do? Do you do kegels? Like um honestly, just <laughs> Do a keggle while it's inside. <laughs> Honestly, I would just. I like the answer s- already. Just pull out, just stop for like 10 seconds, 10 solid seconds. Sure. Sometimes you do just need to give yourself you a can minute. Take a breather. Yeah, sure. just like, you know, because I, I mean, with them from this? time to time. That's what I've done. This, like, this is only going to go on iFunny. <laughs> not, not to, not to get to talk too much about it, but the porn star. If that means that you have to put off her to to get there yourself. Honestly, just pay attention to her body language. It really isn't that hard. You can you can That's go back to her. You can go back to her after you've taken a few breathers, so you last longer. I don't know. I yeah. No, no, that is a no, no like I see that. what you're saying. It's, no, no, it's, you it's gotta get some you gotta it get can be air. hard sometimes. So what I do to like not just make it seem like you just you just pull out and you just sit there and you're like, hold on, just give me a second. Instead of doing that, what I do is oh, I, I just, do that. I just pull like Bruce Banner. <laughs> we got. I just pull out. Heart <laughs> You just start making out with them. It passes the time. It makes them hornier. And that then you can true. be like, then you can be like, do you want it again or what position do you want to do now? Like it gives you more time because you yes, got to set up. You got it. You really have Spying to communicate. Because that's the other thing. Uh, management. Time Sex is a time management. You've come. Deal. Money. Of course I've come. You've came. But you've come. I have come. Hmm. Yeah. And they're done that. No, no, you're you're on to something. Like if you stop right before you nut, it gives you some time to kind of like you can, your dick you can can, edge it's kind of like it. hitting him with a hardened, you know? Your defense goes up, you're ready to go again. Yeah, don't wait until you're like getting ready to before you do that. Like, do it like throughout it because that way, by changing positions and stuff like that, you're extending the time of the actual sex, right? Because right. that's the other thing is, is it's sort of like. How do I say it? It's like I'm trying to think of an example here. Um, don't, if you want to last longer, don't start off doing everything just to get you to that point. Because if, because that's like sort of like, like uh, rushing yourself. Because yeah. that's just always focus on her first. It's just just better think about you. Think about the action, not how to do the action so much, and time will go by, and you'll just, you keep know, going. yeah, sort of, <laughs> sort of like keep the engine at sixty, not at uh, ninety. You know, yeah. what was what was the worst yeah. sex experience you had in your life? Um, Fuck. if you need to think um, about it, I, I would know. probably. Brandon ha- losing his virginity to the boy in the striped pajamas. I would pajamas. probably say I um, that. <laughs> one of uh, one of my exes who um, we actually we took a pretty big risk because uh, her brother who was like eighteen um, was in two rooms down from us. Oh, you fucking Xbox my sister! His headset <laughs> with his headset. He was playing on Xbox. We're in two rooms. Probably, I'd say uh, walking wise is about probably like twenty feet. Um, in high school, you take your chances. But uh, <laughs> the door was open too. Um, but um, she, 
it's like smile just do something you know don't just <laughs> you know so that means, that means someone's like been fucking somebody like she's well, probably so anxious about her brother hearing well no so well, she's she starfished she just mm-hmm. was not a lot of emotion. Well, not like that, but it's just not a lot of. <laughs> no, 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 no. It's not like that. But just not a lot of, you know. It's like because I'm usually pretty good at noticing like signs or, you know, did I just make them uh, laugh or are they upset? So it's a uh, body language, you know. True. You've got you've got access to deep web intel. No, you're fucking, you got to make sure they yeah. have the consent. You got to be deep in there to make it work. Deep. <laughs> <laughs> deep you're not wrong. Technically, you're not wrong. I mean, I all right, all right. But I want to talk about the romance side too because we are the real sensitive guys. I want to know why. Like your number one piece of relationship advice. If somebody's like, "What's the ultimate?" Like. What's the ultimate piece of relationship info you could give? That's tough. Um, like how to have a lasting relationship. Or how to show what I said on the uh, last uh, podcast that uh, that, uh, that uh, um, fuck I can't talk that uh, we tried um, is all your relationships until you're probably about like twenty years old. You know, are all uh, trial runs. They're all trial runs. Most people don't come out of high school getting together and having it uh, last into a uh, marriage. Most people, that doesn't happen with. I mean, it happens. It's just you don't see it as much. It's a really big transition. You have to survive. I said this last time, too. It's it's that's for every relationship until it's not right. So every relationship along the way until you find your wife is just a filtration system. And that's why, like. Yeah, you can be upset about a breakup and, and like it sucks so much in the moment. But at the end of the breakup day, <laughs> at, the, at the end of the day, it's like, you know where you stand with that person. You're on mm-hmm. to bigger and better things. Of course. Moving on is one of the hardest things. But if you can master moving on, you'll be good in relationships. Right. Well, and that's like, work on yourself. Get your shit yeah. together first. Get your shit together first. Even uh-huh. if it, it, like, you don't have to have everything completely organized and under control because most people, that's very, very hard to do. Because <laughs> I'm trying to move out my job. They cut our, with the hours. So uh, money is a problem now. But the, like, yeah. bare minimum is that you have to be emotionally available. Yes. I, if you're not, you're just going to end up hurting yourself, hurting yeah, the other Yeah, because if you're not, if you're not yeah. like here, you, you, you know, the head, then you're going to have a rough time in the relationship. Being like, present you, in the you moment. You need to, yes. Yeah, it's it's so important. Just in every everyday life. Like, I think a lot of what people, you want, you look at people uh, in your day-to-day life, like just and, and any viewer, or just every, you guys, pay attention to people around you. Look how much they're just fucking derping. Literally, no, you look at people next to you driving in the car and they're just like dead while I'm sitting here just paying attention, like fucking singing as loud as I can in the car, having fun with my day to day life. It's like being present to the moment is so important and not just in relationships, but in your life in general, like especially so in context of relationships, like listening, caring, giving a shit. Being able to to have banter back and forth. You're not going to be witty if you're not present. Be present in the fucking moment, you dipshits. <laughs> and a lot of people just like let a lot of shit get them down. Like they let something they see in the news get them down. They let, you know, something somebody said to them during the day, like one single sentence, ruin your entire day, your entire week. Don't hold on to that shit. Just let it go. You have to like, kind of like put a gauge on it. Honestly, because 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 I know of uh, the meme of technically you don't need to t- 
to see a therapist if you say sometimes it is what it is. And that is because <laughs> I still say that is completely true. I mean, this year I have had uh, concerts planned. I there I I was supposed to see uh, Earth, Wind, and Fire, Alice Cooper. Dude, that oh, would that would have been dope. <laughs> it was actually Carlos Santana, who I've already seen once with Earth, Wind, and Fire, and then another concert was supposed to be Alice Cooper, and then another one was supposed to be Sabaton and Judas. Uh, priest, and then another one was supposed to be uh, Kiss. All canceled. Shit. All canceled. So I was about to see the Backstreet Boys just a few days ago. Oh, <laughs> one of my exes, uh, she was really into that, and actually, I ended up uh, getting her a signature of. I think it was the uh, drummer. That's on fire. eBay. That's dope. That's um, pretty sweet, though. Yeah, cost Damn. me sixty dollars, but. <laughs> Like Damn, I, you I know how to come up with like a sentimental gift for a girlfriend though. That's hard. That shit gets hard sometimes. Yeah. Well, honestly, awesome. if you just pay attention, because again, live in with a moment. Pay attention. Now, sometimes yeah. I don't pay attention. <laughs> I really don't. Sometimes. Yeah, um, but that's just like being a guy, you know. Yeah. I know that. I know in my head that like listening is like. Just makes girls really happy for some reason. Just listening and like remembering things they said like a week ago just makes them super happy. It just I I just forget things, man. I'm just a forgetful ass fucking person. <laughs> I write I write stuff down now. Like I I'm I'm talking to this girl and she'll just say some like super obscure thing. And I'll just make a note of it. Just wrote, it's either in your iPhone and then just like if you bring it up later, they're like, holy fuck, how did you remember yeah. that? You're like it's never obscure, dude. It's literally a test. It's a shit test. It's a shit test. <laughs> Holy, it's not some obscure thing. Don't dudes. be like, what the That's fuck? Shit. Is move on, dudes. Okay, here's here's one of the biggest fucking pieces of advice I will ever give you. If a girl makes fun of you, she fucking likes you. If she goofs on you, she has a crush. It's it's, it's okay. Fair. So she likes you enough to the point that she's testing you. She's seeing if you're going to sure. be a little bitch about it. So like, for example, if a girl comes up to me and be like, you have a fucking big head. I'd be like, shut the fuck up, you dumb bitch. Not literally, like, but like in a playful <laughs> manner. And she'll, you know, and then you pass the test. I'm not sweating it. She'll like respect. She like respect you more for like actually going with it. So just being like, "Well, fuck off." Yeah, dude. In like fourth grade, when your mom is like, "The girls who tease you are the ones who really like you." Like that stereotypical phrase oh, is so fucking thing. real. Actually, it's so real. The one Banter. thing is far as being judged by them, and like uh, even something that has been brought up, I think at least two times, maybe three, is. At one point in the relationship, they have actually asked me, has something ever happened to your nose? I'm not even kidding. Oh, be- <laughs> we, yes, we all share this. We broken. all share this. Yes, because, yes, because my nose is slightly uh, crooked. Just like slightly. But that's, but that's, that's just how it I've is, always though, right? Yeah, that's just how it is. Yeah, yeah. Just, nothing yeah, happened. So, yeah, nothing happened. Um, but uh, that's one thing that's happened uh, like uh, twice now. But um, but yeah, but but you're talking about like when she like sort of when she steals, say, your shirt and you can't find it or like something like that. Like she's uh, a testing that's a classic you. move. Take She'll make fun it. of you or something like that. Like, you know. I think I think I was like in the more beginning level of things. Like let's say like you're first talking to a girl and she was like, Yeah, that's a weird looking shirt. You could be like, You have a weird looking face. And it just like starts the banter back and forth versus being like, Oh, oh yeah, this is not- I'm sorry, like I you know, this shirt, yeah, it's a little weird. Like my mom got it for me, it's super wow. <laughs> but yeah, just pop the fucking collar on. <laughs> That's the like, fail. That's the failed test right there. I would probably like if someone like uh, walked up to me and said that, or even like one of my friends. I would like probably like the first time, I'd probably say, 
Okay. Well, I like it. I mean, it's whatever, man. Yeah, some yeah. random That's ass. That's exactly what I would say. I like, was like, look at your crooked ass fucking nose. <laughs> Like I mean, some random girl. Yeah, that's whatever. Start talking I mean, to you on the street. Yeah, I'd probably give it back. Yeah, no, that's what you have to do. That's 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 the, that's the whole point. She shit testing you, and that, like guys do that shit too. It's like you're the new guy on the block, and the guys will kind of like fuck with you. They'll they'll do like a little hazing ritual. It's like they're just fucking with you to ways. test you. It goes guys to girls too. Like I fucking I tease the shit out of a girl I like. Ooh. <laughs> I'm sure you do. It's fun. His girlfriend nice. just beats him up every night. His girlfriend's, <laughs> um, His girlfriend's like, you try to tease me. Because um, in my last relationship, though, sometimes, like, um, sometimes, because, like, what I do is I sort of, like, tease or say well like uh, what if this happens or what if that happens like when she <laughs> what you when doing she, I'm or what if i was there <laughs> yeah and, um but then it's like sometimes just because i i enjoy sometimes breaking apart somebody's <laughs> logic because it's sometimes I just think it's uh, pretty fucking funny sometimes. So she just leaves her asshole. Oh, oh, I'm like a hundred percent with our right. Is I'll say technically they're actually used for this because if they were used for that, then that would happen. So it's like, but I'll do things like that just like. Teaser sometimes, and yeah, I guess, there's no, also a way to phrase like that, that where it can be flirty or it can come off as like you're trying to like one up her and like actually her, and that can yeah, it, be like fucking actually. creepy. You gotta really, you gotta be careful with that one. Yeah, um because unfortunately that's how she uh took it. No, it's not yeah. my intention that you were trying to destroy her with facts and logic. <laughs> See, but like, in the, yeah. but it's just like I'm someone who. I voice a lot of different things and I usually don't have a filter on many things. So yeah, no, filter. So, actually where we like tied up our talk about you last time, because we were talking about how you've now returned to iFunny in all your glory. You're embracing all the memes about you. Yes. And you're speaking of which, to it. I need you to think of a new thing. Table. I need to think of a new thing to upload. I either like a new picture and uh caption or something to create to uh, to get another uh, meme out there make some gift captions <laughs> oh, yeah. just be you dog meme. you're you're a fucking meme on its own just continue to do you like yeah no matter what you chose charm, you get over 100 likes so yeah, yeah part of your charm is like you're a goofy dude which is not a bad thing whatsoever and people will feed off of that just because you're a meme as it is just and like hate you, brother. speed off of it too, but that's just more exposure, man. Like oh, yeah. there's people that just like live to comment hate on every single thing you post. True. And it's that hilarious because they're kind of like your biggest fans. Mm -hmm. They like wait for you to post something. They're probably what they say. By their phones oh, the fact me. that you know, but he's like, oh well, the fact that he's self-aware, now it's not fun anymore. <laughs> but then yet they come back and comment that shit on every single picture. So yeah, obviously they're so. still like fucking caring yep i don't know the memes are still funny like the one yeah the memes never mind they're getting even better now oh yeah um because i will say that yes uh, once i uh, move out of here because uh, essentially we pretty much have a house picked out now we just have to get the process with the application finalized and my friend's got to get a hold of his uh loaner and everything else but i'll probably because he wants to be removed in prior to um, well, next month. All right. This so, is, the wheels are in motion. But, uh, once I move out, um, I will have a much larger uh, place for a uh, green screen. And there's a good chance that like the space is probably going to be probably about the size of this room just for uh, the green screen itself. Just for the green screen. You should do. You should do a. Uh, you know how to do it to him. Recreation. You know uh, which uh, which one is that? Where the kid is standing on the sidewalk and he's like, 
Oh, like that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I could. Because cause all I need is uh, cargo shorts and a plaid shirt, right? That's what I'm saying. And then you could put that same background on the green screen. Yes. I think, you, I think you should do... A free idea right there. You should try to do like a... a, like a Almost like an Eric and Andre show type deal, or like a Tosh Poino type show. I, I would be that would be really I, interesting to see what you could do with a green screen, and also like if I you started uploading content. Classics. Yeah. Yes. Recreating classic memes, like you should do like it's free real estate. Like just zoom into your face. It's that shit's fire. Meme yes. review <laughs> with Deep Web Intel. <laughs> yes. Yeah. With Deep Web Intel, that would be dope. That would be good. Because um, you could just use your fame, your like iFunny fame, and then you combine that with like classic like vines and shit that people love, and you've got oh, a yeah. recipe for success right there. At the end of the day, so, like no, no matter how like f- fucky your audience is, you still have an audience. And there, there are people yes, really loyal to you. Like with you know, I I before we, we met you and, and even now really, we we followed your your content and your story oh, yeah, so dude. closely. It, it was just interesting because not only was it funny as shit, like drink till I'm drunk. And it's like, just you just pouring your shit. Hilarious. And, but also you had that controversy back in the day and then you're, you're coming back off of this. Everybody hates you, but you know what? You're fucking better than that. And you, you come yeah, back into the light heart. of graces. Yeah. It's, it's exactly. an interesting storyline. So I think, People are interested to see where this goes, where everybody's invested in the storyline that is deep web intel. And, oh, yeah. and, and if you don't Especially, make content. Uh, we've, been here, we've been here since 2012 on iFunny. You said you've been since 2013, 2014, right? Um, it, it was it was either like fall time of 2012 or fall time of 2013. I forget yeah. which one. So you're like a total old head like us. Yeah. As I remember uh, the be. iFunny 3.0. And I think iFunny 2.0, I think, is the earliest one that I remember. Yeah, and we were talking about, we remember all the, like, kick bots and stuff, like, kick yep. me nudes, all that shit, all the spam that was in Collective for the longest time. Yeah. So, wait, I heard people say, too, back to the topic of chef from, like, way earlier. People say the first chef is, like, rotting in a Ukrainian prison or something like that. <laughs> um. So, she... <laughs> I think he got in trouble for like um, misuse of the app's funding and uh, tax fraud or something like that. Um, oh, so is this he was true? arrested. Um, I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. Um, everything on iFunny is true. Duh. <laughs> <laughs> so then they uh, replaced. So then they uh, replaced uh, Chef, quote unquote. Um, and it's still the same one from the one that was in uh Houston, who I met. He's uh pretty chill. Yeah, he's, he's been chill. for a, he's been for a good amount of years now. The chef, yep. right? Yep. But the original chef is—is is he in a foreign prison for real, or is he like an American prison? I have is no idea. I know that uh the app, um, so the app is based off of a Russian company. Right, I, we um, knew that. We knew that. Switched I fun in and of itself. I fun Corp, who I actually follow on their Facebook as well, <laughs> and I've seen that they have these uh, huge uh, like group company convention uh, meeting things or uh, meetup things that they have. Their uh, group uh, therapy sessions or whatever, um, and. But I'm not sure if he's in a American prison or in a foreign prison. I have no idea. <laughs> Just hear so many crazy stories on this fucking app. It's just it's sure. so much. It's you know I'd like to think that the original iPhone chef is in prison right now, and instead of having like titties on the wall. It's just classic Will Ferrell memes. <laughs> <laughs> and Kate Upton, the queen. <laughs> My Kate queen. Upton. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I mean, if there was like, if there was an I funny history, like with the timeline and all that, you'd be like a Napoleon or like an Abe Lincoln. I mean, you're, you're one of the faces of I funny history. Oh yeah. Which is pretty crazy. I, I wish only... I could say I was, I'm just like, I've been a lurker for like a million years. Yeah. We've been re public only... accounts since 2015. <laughs> Now we're just trying to post stuff because we're like promoting this shit. Yeah. Because <laughs> uh, the only 
person who I'd say is more wide known than than me is uh Sab. He's he's higher than me. He's uh he's another one. Sab. What about Ezaf? <laughs> Ezaf. I haven't heard a lot about him lately. I haven't he I still haven't heard plays the same he normal content. He hasn't been in the spotlight still? in a very long time, though. Do you know how long he's been on him. here? He's been here almost, I think, as long as I've been on the app. Yeah, I remember when he was just, like, collecting features and everyone hated him because they're like, oh, he's not giving anyone else the chance to be featured back when, like, people actually cared about getting featured before subscriptions were a thing. Oh, congrats, <laughs> by the way. The I, features that's are great. fucking recently happened, right? You just recently got featured? Oh, yeah. Yeah, oh, that was congrats, congrats, that's another thing. thing. But, like, it's not it something was unusual. Really cool. Because it, she got up to thirty three thousand well, likes prior to getting featured, and that that's not supposed to happen like that. Because that's, that's that's if it you actually got uh, featured. Yeah, I would understand it uh, getting that much. Uh, now like that yeah. one, I put together that one uh, myself. That meme. Wow, inspiration. But yeah, the features. The features are absolutely rigged. I mean, it's kind of like not yeah. fixable, though, because it's like you get featured, you're going to get more exposure, you get more exposure, you get more likes, you get more likes, you get more features. It's kind of just like a snowballing kind of thing that's it's unavoidable so cool. as long as there so are cool. subscriptions. And what stuff about like Nicholas that. on iFunny? Um, he's pretty chill. He's chill. Like Zalus has been lot. around for a while. He's one of the bigger faces, I'd say. I don't think he's been around as long as us, though. What about uh, anal rape daily? <laughs> him, uh, temper. remember ultimate cringe hard? Uh, wait, he comes back once in a while. Who the like OG cringe account that had uh, all sure the like that. latest and best cringe memes? I think his original name was just cringe hard, then he mm -hmm. came back as ultimate cringe hard. He always had like the ET profile picture. I don't think I remember that one. I'm really liking this uh, monkey archive account recently. It's it's just a fucking account that just repubs a bunch of videos about monkeys. <laughs> I've been really liking a uh, Family Guy Fun Time Funny Eleven. <laughs> <laughs> Which one is that one? <laughs> he just posts like uh, he originally he took the name when that fucking like Family Guy Funny Moments meme was going around with like the YouTube video and the, oh, user, yeah. the YouTube user was Family Guy Fun Time Funny 11. <laughs> so somebody oh, took yeah, the I name remember. on iFunny and now just posts like random like scenes from Family Guy, random shots from Family Guy that are really funny, like edits of Family Guy stuff. It's it's a pretty good account. You know who's it's so like I, I, I want them to do really well in life and we were just talking about this earlier. That little fucking bald headed kid and his older brother. Are they gonna yeah, use beer water, for that? Ice, salt. <laughs> water who? Salt. Hey. Water Who ice, are we talking about? Or, is boil. The is two, boil. The two kids that are doing like a reaction video, the kid and his older <gasps> brother. Wow. Is that a water balloon? I haven't heard of that one. I mean, yeah, if what? you don't know water ice salt, a, you, you haven't heard of the meme. What? No. I think I this might be when you were off the app, though. I think this was popular when you were off the app for a oh. while. That was that was everywhere. <laughs> At least in our circle great, of repubs. We would just repub it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, somebody was repubbing it every day. And it was, <laughs> I mean, why did they stop? Do you remember the repub for repub uh, trains? Do you remember those? Oh, yeah. And you, and you would just have the picture like going infinitely into oblivion in the background no 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 no, no. not those but the uh, group chats where uh, instead of the uh, repub for uh, repub is every like four hours or six hours or whatever <laughs> you would you would send a link to uh, one of your uploads which well uh, which all the other users are uh, repub and uh, you repub everybody else's Damn, I was never part of this because I was never one of the people that was like I, trying really hard to get likes and get features. I was always a how, worker, like I said. That's how I got up to 55,000 subscribers. Like within, I got there within a year. So you, year. you becoming a legend was like pretty much thanks to this repub for repub group. That was like half of it. Yeah. <laughs> because, no, because like, because it works exactly like uh, your advertising advertise yourself you need to get your 
content out there. Oh, yeah. There. Every social media that? platform has this. Follow for follow. The shit out of you. Retweet That's how you for do. retweet, whatever. Exactly. Every, every social media has it. I guess I should have known iFunny has it. And it works. So. But now, like, nobody cares about getting featured. Like, you've yeah. been getting featured a lot lately, but, like, I feel like it doesn't feel like it would have felt in, like, 2014, you know? <laughs> yeah. Well, because that's, like, like people, I funny, I would say hit its prime, I would say, in 2017. I think it's still peaking. It's still peaking right now. <laughs> See, because I don't really keep up to date with the lore on the app now. Like, I don't know. I know there's... The oh, I keep up to date on your lore, pretty much. Is that all, all the uh, money that you have? Yeah, Will's trying to flex. Will's just trying to flex the stacks on video. <laughs> <laughs> no, you guys. Brandon's got tax on tax. <laughs> yeah, I was taking my tax to- on that cash. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that was fucking stupid. All right, we're gonna get that pepo off there. You know what I'm saying? And we're gonna fucking head out, boys. Get that pepo off there. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna head off of here, boys, uh, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. It's been your boy Deep Web Intel. Where can we find you? Yes. Where should we look at you up if we were trying to find out your content? Um, I, I would that. say iFunny. Um. I know that lately I've been preoccupied with a lot of other things, so I haven't posted as much uh, deep uh, web uh, material. Sorry, but, this is your um, return to the scene when this yes. podcast gets uploaded. Um, but I funny, or you can hit me up on Instagram, which is Arizona T Man. I just upload uh, memes on there, but I funny dot co slash deep web intel. Hell yeah. Nice. If uh, you enjoyed this episode, be sure to leave a like, comment what your favorite part is. Make sure you leave a timestamp, you fucking degenerate people. Sometimes the people are like, ha ha, that one joke that Will said, and we're like, the fuck are you on about? Yeah. <laughs> timestamp that shit. And uh, other than that, it's been Brandon. I'm Oliver. I'm Travis. I'm Cameron. Deep <laughs> Web. Thank you. <laughs> yes. Thank you for giving up another hour of your time. Yep, yep. No fucking problem. phenomenal guest, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Uh, hello, iFunny. Um, please don't ruin my life. Take it easy, guys. <laughs> no doctors. <laughs> See you.